Uh, hello students, today I have prepared a video on a topic called as ICMP which stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. This is a protocol which lies under the network layer. That's a very important protocol as this protocol helps the IP protocol to some or the other way become a reliable protocol. As we know very well, IP is an unreliable protocol. So we'll try to understand how ICMP protocol makes the network layer reliable in some or the other way. So we know very well ICMP protocol is the protocol which lies under the network layer. Now why there was a need to develop this ICMP protocol? The reason to develop the ICMP protocol was to handle the issues which, 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 which were generated in the network layer due to the IP protocol. Why? Because IP is the best effort delivery system, which means it just says that it will send the data in a best way, but it does not guarantee that the data would be reached with 100% guarantee. So there are some instances where data may fail to reach its destination for variety of reasons, such as hardware failure, improper configuration, or incorrect routing. In such cases, to handle this kind of an issues, ICMP protocol plays a major role. Now basically, this ICMP messages is encapsulated with the IP data and it is being appended with the IP header. And then it goes to the data link layer where at the data link layer, the frame header is being appended. If you remember, what do you mean by encapsulation? Encapsulation means appending of the header at the different layers of the OSI reference model. And we know very well the header part is important because header is nothing but the control field which is responsible for routing of the data properly in the network. Now as we know very well ICMP protocol was designed just to solve the issues in the network layer and make IP protocol some or the other way reliable and to achieve this it is having two kind of messages which is first type error reporting message and the second is the query message if you see the error reporting message there are five different types and in query message there are four different types so we'll quickly try to understand what are they now here you may be thinking what are these numbers right so here the numbers 3 4 11 12 are nothing but the type of which the ICMP message belongs to. So here if we see destination unreachable is being assigned type 3. The number is 3 over here, right? So it is type 3 message. Likewise, each message is being assigned different number. So here is the format of ICMP messages wherein the first row comprises of uh, let's say 32 bits of 4 bytes, right? So 8 bits are reserved for type to indicate which type of the message is it, the code assigned to that message, the checksum for error detection purpose and this belongs to the rest of the header. And this is the data section of the network layer. So here code specifies the reason for particular message type. Now we'll try to understand the 5 different types of error reporting message. The first is destination unreachable, next source quench, time exceeded, parameter problem and the redirection. Here first comes the destination unreachable message. One has to remember that this message can be generated by a router or a host. From the name itself we can make out destination unreachable means the packet whichever which is flowing in the network is not reachable to the destination due to some or the other way. So when a router cannot route a packet it sends the destination unreachable to the source host and when host cannot deliver a packet or a datagram destination unreachable message can be sent to the source host so here we can make out this message can be either generated by a router or by a host when they are not in a state to send the packet further in a network and it send that message to the source host who generate that message next is nothing but the source quench message source quench is nothing but 
to limit the source or to stop the source to send more and more data. As we know very well, IP lacks with the flow control. Now one should understand what do you mean by flow control. Basically, flow control means to match the speed of high speed transmitter with the slow speed receiver. Basically, the source send the data at very high speed and the receiver buffers may have slow speed to receive and the buffer may get overflow. So in that case, when the buffers at the router side or the host side gets overflowed due to high speed data, source quest message are being sent by the router or the host to, to the source that to please control your speed because the source speed is high and the buffers are getting overflow. So what should understand basically source quench is used to limit the speed of the source basically to reduce the speed as the speed of source is high as compared to the buffer size. So source quench message can be sent either by the router or the host. Next, the third message, time exceeded. Now again, this message can be either sent by the router or a host. So in first case, when does the router send this message? Router receives a packet with TTL, where TTL stands for time to leave of zero. So when the packet has TTL value as zero, that packet is going to be discarded and this message would be sent to the source. As TTL indicates the lifetime of a packet. And when it when its value turns to be zero, the lifetime of a packet is zero. So that's the reason it is said time exceeded message. This kind of a message is basically sent by the destination host. When the final destination does not receive all the fragments in a set time, it discards the received fragments and sends a time exceeded message to the original source. So here we saw that time exceeded message can be sent either by the router or the destination host. So basically, router sends this message when TTL turns to be zero of a packet and destination host sends this message when all the fragments are not received within the set time. Next is nothing but parameter problem message format. So this kind of a message is being sent when there is some problem with the parameter of the header fields or when the IP option is being missing. So from name itself we can make out when some header header field parameters are having some problem this kind of a message is being sent. A parameter problem message can be created by a router or the destination host. Finally here comes the ICMP redirection message. Now when this message is being uh, sent Basically, this message is being sent by the router to the source stating that there is some direction problem with the packet. Basically, there is some misrouting of the packet within the network. And why this misrouting of the packet take place when all the hosts do not participate in the routing table. Basically, host uses static routing and can result in misrouted datagram. So in this case, router forwards the packet to the correct router. So when there is misrouting of the packet, this redirection message is sent to the routing sending host to update its routing table. So one should understand this message is being sent when there is misrouting problem. So with this, if you look into, we have discussed it, we have discussed all the five different messages under the error reporting message. Now, quickly, we'll try to understand the different query messages. Basically, the query messages is used to diagnose the network problems. So basically, there is query and response. So basically, a query is being sent and a response is being expected to check, to check the network problems and diagnose it. So first comes the echo request and reply message. So basically, as we know very well, it is used by the network managers and to diagnose the network problem. Basically, it is used to check the reachability of the host, whether the other host is alive or dead in a network. Next, next query message is nothing but timestamp, timestamp request reply message. Basically, this message is used to determine 
the round trip time for a IP data or packet to travel between them. It is basically also used to synchronize the two clocks between two machines. Next is mask request and mask reply message. As we know very well, IP mask, the default mask, it may happen that a host may know its IP address but it do not know the IP address mask. So in that case, it is used, this message is used by the host to obtain its IP address mask. And this IP address mask is basically obtained from the router. So host sends request to a router if, if it knows IP of the router. So basically this message is used by the host when the host is not aware of its own IP address mask. And finally, the query message is router solution message format. Basically, this message is used by the host to know the addresses of all the routers within the network. So it requests broadcast by a host to obtain the operating routers. So router replies with all the routers that they are aware, including themselves. So basically, this message is used by the host to know all the addresses of the routers which are alive within a network. So with this, we have discussed a very, very important topic called as ICMP. So we'll try to just quickly revise what the ICMP means. So one should understand the ICMP protocol stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. It lies under the network layer. The very need or the objective of the ICMP protocol is to make the IP protocol reliable and to solve the issues which were not solved by the IP protocol using some different messages such as error, reporting messages and the query messages. You know very well this is the format of the ICMP messages right and this number indicates the type of the messages. Destination unreachable message can be sent by the router or the host when the packet cannot be reached efficiently to the destination. Source quench message is being sent by the router or the host when there is some problem of flow control, when the speed of the source of sending the data is high as compared to the receiver buffer capacity. Time exceeded message is sent basically when the TTL value sets to zero or when all the fragments at the destination host are not received at the same time. Parameter problem comes into the picture when there is some missing field in the IP header or some changes in the option. Redirection message is being sent when there is some misrouting of the packets within the router. So here comes the error reporting messages, here comes the query messages and you know very well query messages are used to handle with the network diagnosis problem. Echo request reply messages is used to check the other host is whether reachable or not, means whether it is alive or dead within a network. Timestamp message is being used to get the round trip time of the data. Address mask message is used by the host basically to know its own IP address mask. And finally, the router solicitation message is being used by the host when the host want to know all the routers which are there within the network and the addresses associated with the router. So with this, we have discussed a very, very important topic based on ICMP with its different messages such as error reporting messages and query messages. So here the messages plays a very very important role to make some or the other way the network reliable, uh, more reliable as compared to how the IP protocol is unreliable. I hope you got most of the points out of it. Thank you.